Hello there, this is Greg Stock, CEO of Thibodeau Regional Health System. I have with me today Dr. Paul Monier. Dr. Monier is a, an infectious disease physician and expert in that aspect of clinical care. We appreciate having you with us today, Dr. Monier. I'm glad to be here. We're going to introduce a subject by now that the whole world has interest in and has uh, been affected by it to some degree, and that is the coronavirus outbreak. We're going to start today, I'm just going to ask Dr. Munye a few questions and let him, let him talk. Dr. Munye, what is the corona, coronavirus? Well, coronavirus is actually a family of viruses. Um, some are very common because the common cold that we see in North America, oftentimes in the fall and winter. Uh, the coronavirus that we're dealing with now is a novel form of that virus. It's in the same family and now causes this disease process that uh, we've come to know as COVID-19. What does novel form mean? I mean, what does that just, mean technically? Just a new form of the virus that emerged um, after several mutations, so behaves a little differently than the more common coronavirus that we've come to know over the years. Very good. So it originated in China and has made its way around the world. That's what we believe. It appears that it originated in China in December um, of last year, and I think its history since then is well known. Okay. So why should people pay attention to coronavirus? I mean, well, what's the significance of it? Yeah, well, first of all, uh, just from the learning experience of how it's behaved in other countries, we're all well aware of that. Um, it has a high propensity uh, to spread. It's very contagious. Uh, it um, seems to have a high mortality rate uh, compared to uh, other similar forms of the virus. Um, and it's caused significant uh, illness and um, mortality in other countries. Yeah, so it's a serious matter and something not to be taken lightly. Absolutely. And it's here in South Louisiana and in this part of the world. Talk for just a minute about the symptoms and uh, how people could help recognize what it is. Right. So uh, the symptoms of coronavirus are fever and mostly upper respiratory symptoms, shortness of breath and cough are common features. The vast majority of people who get coronavirus will have mild symptoms. The more vulnerable people in the population are elderly, people with underlying health conditions, uh, may experience a more severe form of the disease, and those are the people that we worry about the most. And how's the, how's the disease spread? How does the virus... So the disease is spread by respiratory droplets um, mostly. It can uh, live on uh, inanimate surfaces, but it is felt that the primary uh, vehicle of transmission is respiratory droplets. Who are the people then that would be most at risk for this well, virus? Well, I think we're, we're all at risk um, uh, for the virus, for contracting it. Uh, the people who are most at risk after they contract it again are the elderly and uh, people with underlying health conditions such as hypertension, diabetes, uh, immunocompromising disorders and so forth. Very good. Good information. So to personalize it a little bit for the people that may be watching this, how do you help prevent the spread of it? How do you mitigate or lessen it? Okay. Um, so number one, wash your hands. You should wash your hands thoroughly with soap and water. 20 seconds is uh, what we recommend. Um, um, if you don't have access to soap and water, a uh, alcohol-based hand sanitizer is sufficient. Um, if you're sick, stay home. Uh, that's uh, uh, something that we recommend now, as long as your symptoms are mild and you're able to stay home. Uh, if you have contact with any high traffic touch services like uh, doorknobs and handrails and so forth, those things are hard to avoid. You should try to avoid them, but if not, then the frequent hand washing comes into play. Uh, social distancing is sort of a buzzword now, and we should all practice that. Avoid large crowds, particularly if you're uh, vulnerable. And then I would say that uh, be sure to take care of yourself. Proper nutrition, drink plenty of water, um, and, and optimize any control of any underlying health conditions you may have. Now's the time uh, to take your other health conditions seriously and concentrate on your wellness. Very good, excellent. So we're gonna talk in another segment about the actions that Tibetal Regional is taking. It's, however, it's always interesting to me to hear 
about these very basic things, fundamental things, and what uh, a significant impact they have on the outcome of patients. And for example, with the hospital acquired infections, what is one of the most important things you can do? Wash your hands, right? Right. And we really work diligently at Thibodeau Regional to, to accomplish those, and you've been very helpful with that. Thibodeau Regional is a five-star hospital by Medicare. I think it's the only one in the state of Louisiana. So you could go there and expect the hospital acquired infection rates to be five times lower than other hospitals. The death rate is much lower and so on. It's because of systematically working at this over a period of time. But still the individual responsibility for healthcare workers and for people and their families and so forth are, are these things like washing your hands. Very simple measures. Thank you, Dr. Munyan. We appreciate you being with us today. You're welcome. Thank you.